Hello. Um, this video is an attempt to kind of address a larger idea that that we're going to be exploring as we move forward in our mathematical development, and that is what what's called reflections in the x-axis. So in the past two videos, we've actually looked at how to graph y equals x squared, which is the blue curve, and y equals negative x squared. And the question that was asked is, what did multiplying x squared by a negative do? And what you might have noticed is that the green curve, or y equals negative x squared, is simply a reflection of the blue curve across the x-axis. And so the question is, well, what's the bigger idea here? So if over here we have, oh, let me change my colors here, we have y equals x squared. And we said this is a quadratic function. So we can say f of x equals x squared. And that means the same thing. So again, for those of you that don't know what functions are, functions are special types of relationships. And what we've said so far is that we can replace the y with this special type of notation that's read f at x. So this is read f at x. And what this provides us with is a, a nice way to articulate um, the substitution of points. So if I want to evaluate this function um, at, say, x equals 4, I can do f at 4. And what I do is I replace x, sorry, replace the x with the value 4. So I take 4 squared, which is 16. So that's a very, very quick explanation of a function notation. Of course, you want to do a little more reading if you're interested in that area. So to continue on with what I was saying before, so we said the blue curve is y equals x squared. We said that this is a quadratic function, so functions can replace y with this new notation called f at x. f is the name of the function. So if down here we have y equals negative x squared, we could write this as y equals negative f at x, because remember, you just said x squared is called f at x. So notice, what this is suggesting here is that we are multiplying all y values of the relationship y equals x squared by negative 1. And that means that if here I have the point 1, 1, if I multiply that y value by negative 1, I have 1, negative 1. Here I have the point negative 2, 4. Here I have the point negative 2, negative 4. So what we say is that when we multiply the parent function by a negative, we actually are reflecting across the y-axis. So we said that x squared is called the parent graph or parent function. So if we multiply the parent graph by negative 1, we reflect across the x-axis. And this is the big idea here. And again, for this the study of quadratic relationships, this isn't as, as big of an idea to understand this reflection idea, but you're going to go on to study other relationships where we talk about reflections all the time. And that's when students usually make the connection that um, negative x squared is applying what's called a reflection in the x-axis to x squared. So now let's, let's move away from a quadratic relationship. If this is y equals f at x, find 
y equals negative f of x. So what I notice now is that I'm actually multiplying my y value by negative. So I could do this on the graph. So if this is the point, let's see here. We're going to pick the main points on here. This is the point 5, 2. So if, if we have the point, actually let's write it like this. So if we have the point 5, 2, right, if we multi, that's going to come, become the point 5, negative 2. There it is. This is a straight line, so we can draw that easily enough. So this is the point 2, 6. So the point 2, 6 is going to become the point 2, comma, negative 6. Which is going to be down here. This is the point 0, comma, 4. So 0, comma, 4 will become the point 0, comma, negative 4. And we don't have to write this out. We can do this right on the graph. So this is negative 2, negative 3. So it's going to be 2, 3. Negative 5, 3. So it's going to be negative 5, negative 3. And then we connect these dots in the same order. And there is the relationship y equals negative f of x. Let's draw this one line a little better. I hope this video helped.